Okay, I got a light not working. I already replaced the bulb and it's a new fixture. And the question is, what's going on? I'm gonna pull it apart here and see if we're getting power across the switch. I think it may just be a bad switch and I just need to change the switch. So, my flashlight battery died so I can't show you with my flashlight. Otherwise I would. But, most likely, I believe it's a bad switch. So let's find out. I do have power live in there now, so just going to be really careful. Pull it apart. And I tried side wiring the top line yesterday. The bottom one's quick wired. But anyway, let's see what's going on. So, ooh, no power. Well, probably we just have a bad connection at the nut here. Okay. is definitely working so not too sure the other thing is I got a GFI not working so it may just actually be associated with that but easy things first let's try that wire right here and take a look Let's try my tester here. Reset the power. Let's see if we actually have power here. If not, I think it's going to be with that GFI. Yeah, no power. Check this out right here. Ooh, no power there either. All right, we got a string of lights or outlets out. That power here, I bet you it's just linked with this GFI. All right, get it changed out. Figure out what's going on. Okay, I got a GFI here that will not reset. Question is why? Okay, definitely no power. I'm gonna turn off the breakers and get it going. I'm going to change out the GFI. Line and load are the considerations when changing the GFI. And of course, uh, amperage. At this point, I could have turned the power back on and checked for power. Probably saved myself a lot of trouble. But anyway, I figured I'd share the real experience. This, is, this isn't so much a how-to video. It's just a sharing. Sure. Everything the way that it is. On the new output. We got line and load. Those are our considerations. Line and load.
black on brass and white to silver. And we've got the ground on the bottom. Hopefully it's just a bad GFI. It could also be a problem with the way any of the outlets on the same string are wired. So just going to have to figure it out scientifically. That one I can just cut off. This one is only side wire, so I need to side wire all these. Again, sorry for the poor lighting conditions here, but still thought I'd share the experience with you. My my uh, flashlight had died, so um, you know, with this line is generally on the bottom, and so when taking off the wires, I'm kind of positioning them, you know, the the ones towards the bottom the ones that are on top towards the top. And we'll just separate these out as to where they go. So the top wires and the bottom wires. Line load. This one the top one's a load and the bottom one's a line. Ground on the bottom. Okay. So just mimic things the same way they are. And you really want your loop of the wire to go the same way as the turn of the screw. That'll help prevent pushing the wire out as you tighten it on. But I definitely don't like how much wire is stripped on the existing line. I think that's a little too much. Sticking out any place where there's bare wire can be a place for heat to build up. So I'm going to rewrap this. Under our wire, tighten it down. Same at the top. Wrap this around. Again, sorry for the poor light conditions. My flashlight bulb died. Time for a new one. Again, that wire is just just way too long. I don't like that. Really don't want the. Uh, we want anything that's not on the screw being insulated, and just the wire where it touches the screw. Be stripped off. And if you're using the, the quick plug ports, most outlets and GFIs have a uh, depth dodge on the outlet on the back of it. How much to strip off? Make this better here.
I think I might have found it here. It might be this set of wires right here. Getting a poor connection. So we're going to reconnect that. Hopefully that's going to restore power to the GFI. We'll be all set. Yeah, I had one wire completely popped off there. So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. All right. All right. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is twist those wires together. Looks like they just came apart. And then I can test it out and verify that that's what's going on. And that way it'll fix the GFI. Looks like that's the, the missing link. Okay, so now i got them all twisted together. Get a strong connection. Get my wire nut on there. And before I get too crazy, I'll go ahead and verify that that's actually what happened. Turn the breakers back on. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I can reset my test and reset my GFI and we're all set. Excellent. There we go. So the GFI held. Now we have power here. Now I have power here. And my light. Turn my light bulb on. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, that's what it was. Just lost the hot connection behind the light switch. Good to go. Okay, there it is, all back to normal. Got my GFI doing exactly what it should. Light fixture, control and light, good to go. Power is restored, just gotta put a couple covers back on, we're good to go. So what it turned out to be was just those wires, probably when the rocker was replaced, pushed on the wires that weren't exactly twisted together. Now they're twisted together, much better, not gonna happen again. If you find these videos helpful, a one-time donation would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you uh, support me on Patreon, it helps me do what I do. There are some bonus perks for Patreon supporters. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.